again uh, to session number 4B, administer medication to patients. This is a continuation from the previous session number 4A. Here are our learning objective, broad learning objective to perform drug administration depending on the routes. Apply skin preparation for procedures for intramuscular or intravenous medication. But today you are going to deal on the administration of a drug by you. All routes. Learning objective. By the end of this session, students are expected to be able to describe drug administration by all routes to discuss discuss the advantage and disadvantage of drug administration by all routes to describe the technique of administering drug by all routes to demonstrate skill in the administration of drug oral. We start with the description of a route of a drug administration. All route is the most common method of administering medication by mouth. The use of all route is giving a drug offer a safe, most convenient and most economic method available. As long as the client can swallow and retain the drug in the stomach, this is a route of choice. Kama mgonjwa anaweza kameza dawa na ineza ikakaa kwenye tumbo, basi hii njia ya kumpa dawa kwa njia ya mdomo juu inamfa zaidi. But all, all medication are contraindicated when a client is vomiting, has a gastric or intestinal suction or unconscious. Lakini hii hatuwezi kuitumia kama mgonjwa atakuwa anatapika au ana, <coughs> ana gastric or intestinal suction uh, kama kuna vitu vinatoka kwenye tumbo au ayupo are you unconscious that was to continue all route. Medication administration is complex process and, is, and is simply a psychomotor task. The health care provider needed to have knowledge on a drug action, side effect indication and contraindication. I say, is it to come from going to the hour? It's complex. Now, in a way, you work with psychology of Zuli kwa sababu ukitaka kumpa dawa mgonjwa lazima ujue vitu vifuatavyo ujue hiyo dawa inaenda kufanya kazi gani eh? ujue side effects utapo utampa mgonjwa itamletea madhara gani indication ujue inatumika kwa kwa ajili ya kitu gani kutibu kitu gani au kwa ajili ya condition ipi contraindication eh? kwamba mgonjwa akitumia hii dawa hatakiwi kutumia mgonjwa hii dawa wa aina ipi mgonjwa aina ipi atakiwi kutumia mtu anayetakiwa kutumia effect zake unatakiwa ujue drug administering by mouth may be in solid or liquid form some of the solid form or tablet pills and the capsule liquid can be syrup or mixture <coughs> advantage and disadvantage of all route uh, drug administration advantage of all route administration tunapojua kwamba kila kitu kina faida yake na hasara zake most of convenient and acceptable e, ni njia ambayo inakubalika sana usually least e, expensive sio ghali sana kama dawa zingine njia zingine safe, da, e, safe does not break skin barrier ni salama haikuhitaji kukuchoma kuku, kuku labda nani uharibu ngozi ili dawa ingie no kisha kunywa basi hata upate maumivu mengine administration usually does not cause stress hata jinsi hauwezi kupata mtu kuogopa anakuta mtu anaogopa kunywa dawa lakini mtu akuchoma sindano unaweza kuta anapata stress ukifikia muda wa choma sindano easy to instruct the patient and independent when is at home uh, pia ni vipesi sana kumuelezea mgonjwa uh, jinsi ya kuweza kuitumia hata akiwa nyumbani Disadvantage. Some of all uh, preparation have an pleasant taste odor. A nyingine inakuwa kwamba dawa ukinywa inakuwa haina ladha nzuri wakati mwingine zinakuwa chungu. Some may cause gastric irritation resulting in nausea and vomit. Nyingine ukinywa unaweza kujikuta unapata kichefuchefu na wakati mwingine unaweza kutapika kabisa. Some oral drug may harm 
tisi enamu zingine zinaweza zikaribu meno certain drug may be partially absorbed or destroyed by the gastric juice nyingine ukinywa inaweza ikawa ikafyonzwa ili kwenda kutumika kwenye mwili kidogo lakini nyingine inaweza ikaribika kutokana na gastric juice inavyotoka e, kutumboni all root has limited use e, hii njia ya mdomo ina, ina vipinga mizi vyake katika kuitumia cannot be used for unconscious patient uweze katumia mgonjwa akiwa hajitambui some drug cannot be used when certain diagnostic test or surgical procedures nyingine hizo zikafanyika kama mtu anatakiwa kufanywa e, upasuaji au kupatiwa anafanywa ana operation au ana shida fulani hawezi kutumia hii dawa inappropriate when gastrointestinal tract has reduced motility wakati mwingine kama tumbo linakuwa halifanyi kazi vizuri kwa hiyo inakuwa sio nzuri kwa mtu kuitumia drug can be as aspirated by serious ill kind mtu mwingine akiwa yuko anaumwa sana mgonjwa sana anaweza kaaspirate kaingia kwenye koo la hewa ikaleta matatizo eh hizo ndio disadvantage za oral route drug administration now here are the technique for administering drug by oral route before administering the oral drug it is essential to conduct an assessment of patient condition eh, to medication lazima uangalie hali ya mgonjwa kama anaweza kupata dawa then planning for administration implementation and is act of performance for administering the medication to patient lazima baadaye uplani uanze kufanyia kazi kile hicho kiplani mpaka unafikia kipindi cha mgonjwa kupata dawa tunapoanza uh, kitu cha habari kinasema technique of administering drug by oral route uh, we start with the assessment eh kabla hujamfanyia hujampa dawa lazima ufanye assessment assessment for patient is called we start with first is allergies to medication je mgonjwa ana allergy na dawa hii dawa ana allergy na dawa gani client ability to swallow the medication unatakiwa umwangalie je anaweza kameza Pre, uh, presence of vomiting or diarrhea that would interfere with his ability to absorb the medication je mgonjwa kama akiwa anaalisha dawa inaweza ikawa ikifika inapitiliza iweze kukaa ikafyonzwa vizuri au ikafyonzwa kwa kiwango kidogo lakini kama mtu anatapika akinywa hiyo dawa ikai tumboni anarudisha kwa hiyo unatakiwa uassess mgonjwa umuulize wewe kuhusu allergy na dawa yoyote ana uwezo kumeza au namuangalia kama anatapika au analisha but all route are fine Another thing in the assessment specific drug action side effect interaction and phase reaction mshakuwa na dawa unatakiwa ujue je inaenda kufanya kazi gani je akitumia anaweza kupata madhara gani interaction je akitumia hii dawa akinywa na pombe anaweza kametea shida au akitumia hii dawa wakati anakunywa na dawa nyingine anaweza kametea shida adverse reaction au inaweza ikatoa shida kubwa zaidi lazima uangalie ask if they have history ni diabetes lazima uangalie uulize haya maswali kama je mtu alishaikuwa na kisukari heart or vascular condition ugonjwa wote wa moyo kwenye moyo kuna dawa zingine ukinywa eh, zina zina absorb more fluid sasa unakuta na mgonjwa naye ana more fluid na msababishia shida au inaweza kufariki au dawa zingine zinaondoa kabisa fluid kulingana na shida mtu aliyokuwa nayo respiratory kama mtu ana kidney disease kuna dawa zingine zinaenda kuwa eh, eh, digested au eliminated through kidney kuna dawa zingine ukizinywa zinaenda kutolewa na kwenye figo literological and neurological condition and how the patient was treated in the past lazima ulize history ya zamani pia na magonjwa ya kulisi magonjwa ya moyo magonjwa ya figo na kama alikuwa nayo alitibiwa ubingeza kwambia bwana mimi nilikuwa na ugonjwa wa ini wa wa figo lakini nisha tibiwa kwa sida sina kabisa uh, current knowledge and learning need about the medication je mgonjwa ana uelewa vipi kuhusu dawa maana kuna dawa zingine unatakiwa mtu akanywe nyumbani ukimpa uh, ukimpa kanywe nyumbani lakini hawezi kufahamu 
hata hii dawa inanyua mara ngapi hapo uwezi ukafanya kitu perform appropriate assessment eh, baada ya kumuuliza hivyo vitu lakini unatakiwa ufanye pia vipimo ufanye vital signs labulizat specific to the medication lazima pia upate majibu ya maabara kulingana na dawa ambayo unaenda kumpa determine if the medication data influences the administration of the medication that is appropriate to administer the medication or does the medication need to be held in the physician notified day hii dawa ndio wenyewe kuna wakati mwingine daktari anaweza kakosea akaandika dawa tofauti lakini ukajiuliza bwana mbona umemwandikia dawa ya malaria wakati mgonjwa anaumwa labda tumbo anaweza kukwambia bwana nilipitiwa au nilichanganya na mgonjwa mwingine kwa lakini lazima ujitamani the medication data influence the administration of, of medication after assessing ukishajilizisha umemkagua umempitia umecheki vital sign kila kitu kiko vizuri anaweza kufanywa hana magonjwa labda ya kulisi unakuja kufanya plan the following equipment material need to be prepared before the procedure of administering medication ah unapofanya plan kabla hujampa dawa unaniuliza utaanzia wapi utaishia wapi first of all we study with the troy with unatakiwa uwe una unatoroli una lile katoroli ambayo kanakuwa kana kana kana, kana tray yake ambayo inatakiwa iwe na medicine au drug iwe na dawa patient treatment chart cardboard or prescription lazima uwe na na file la mgonjwa ambao limeonesha dawa ambayo anatakiwa kapewe plastic calibrated medication cup for liquid a plastic cups usually come with a liquid medication which are discarded after completion of medication lazima uwe na plastic calibrated medication uwe kwa zile dawa ambazo zinahitajika za kimiminika huwa kunakuwa kuna kachomba ambako kanaweza kupimia dawa kama ni meli zitano au meli kumi lazima uandae iwepo after that peel crusher uh, uwe na kuwekea hivyo vidonge uh, straws to administer medication that may discard uh, the teeth or facilitate the ingestion of liquid medication for certain client a jug of drink water in the glass medicine plate and spoon a medicine a dropper lazima uwe na inategemea unaenda kumpa dawa ipi kama ni ya, ya matoni lazima uwe una hii medicine dropper lakini kama ni ya vidonge uwe una spoon um, lakini kama ya, ya kunywa natakiwa uwe una a, a jug for water and the glass uh, after that we have started with assessment we come with the planning now we are going to the another part is called the technique or procedure for all administration of a drug sasa umeshakuwa na hivyo vitu vyote ndio umefika kwa mgonjwa unaanza kufanya nini <coughs> first wash and observe as appropriate infection control procedure wash mikono inform the patient about the procedure and make them comfortable unamwelezea kuhusu kitu unachotaka kufanya na awe ajisikie vizuri kabisa select correct drug for the patient by reading the medication before taking from cupboard shelf drawer or refrigerator kabla hujaitoa kule kwenye shelf unatakiwa uisome vizuri use only medication that have clear eh, liable label to ensure accuracy unatumia dawa ambayo imeshalebiwa vizuri U, ili wewe unawahakika usikue dawa ambayo E, labda limeganda lake la nje limetoka hiyo unasema hiki nini chupo uwe ni ya paracetam ngoja tu tumpe mtoto no kama ganda limetoka usimpe umpe ile ambayo imekuwa labeled kabisa compare the label of a drug container or unit dose package against the patient prescription unaangalia je hii ime, imeandikwa hii dawa imeandikwa ampicox na kwenye kwa daktari kweli kwa ameandika mgonjwa pia ampicox After that this is safely check it to ensure that the right medication is given. Check the expiry date of the medication. Expire medication should not be administered. Unaangalia je ime expire? Ukikuta ime expire utakii kumpa. Calculate medication dosage actually with, without a contamination. Unatakiwa upige mahesabu vizuri. Kwa mfano mgonjwa 
ameandikiwa 1 gram 1 gram unatakiwa ujue kwamba ni gram e, ni miligram elfu moja na kidonge kimoja kina miligram ya tano kwa hiyo unatakiwa kama ameandika e, gram elfu moja maana unatakiwa umpe vidonge viwili ask the patient name for verification and compare with the a uh, treatment card chart or prescription umeshamjua kabisa wewe ndio mgonjwa nataka nimpe dawa lakini unatakiwa umuulize unaitwa nani ili uangalie je hili jina ndio lilioandikwa kwenye file this is the second step to check to reduce the uh, chance for error make sure that you sh- you know the patient diagnosis purpose of medication is therapeutic effect and possible side effect unatakiwa ujue nampa huyu dawa ana ugonjwa gani diagnosis papazi kwa medication ili msaidie nini labda anaumwa malaria lakini nimempa panado kwa ajili hii papazi kwa medication kwa ajili ya kupunguza maumivu labda ya kichwa au kushusha joto therapeutic effect nikimpa hii dawa inaweza kusababisha nini namwambia bwana hata kama nikikupa hii kwa nini labda unaweza kujisikia kizunguzungu au kusikia sauti eh, masikio kama vile anataka kuziba possible side effect verify the client's ability to take medication oral unatakiwa ujilizishe tena je hasa umekuta mgonjwa amepewa uji ametapika bado ni unataka uje umpe tena dawa unatakiwa una verify unamwangalia je anaweza kunywa dawa administer the drug and ensure the patient has taken the medicine before you leave unampa dawa na unahakikisha amekunywa kabla hujaondoka bali mimi naweza kumwambia achana mdomo ndio kwamba karibunda mdomoni ukitoka na tema tu <coughs> Blake only scored if necessary to obtain the correct dose use fire or cutting device if needed record data kwa hiyo ukishampa dawa una record data date time dose route and type of medication given nitaandika muda uliompa umempa wakati gani tarehe gani dozi ipi kwa njia ipi na dawa inaitwa if the patient refuses the medication or assessment data indicate the drug should be with held and open the unit dose package can usually be returned to the medication cupboard this information must be recorded and reported kama uh, mgonjwa amekataa kunywa dawa au umekuta labda mgonjwa baba anatapika ukaona baba uambiwa ampe machungwa na nini ili baadaye uje umpe unatakiwa urekodi kwamba e, kama nimefungua dawa kiasi gani ni kwa nimeotoa vidonge viwili na ajavinywa au vipi return the medicine equipment and the patient record to the proper place for security ukimaliza unarudisha eh, vifaa vyako sehemu ambayo linaotakiwa na kuiweka vizuri kwa ajili ya usalama. Ah uh, hiyo ilikuwa inaitwa uh, is that is was called uh, a technique for administering drug by all route. Now we are moving to another part uh, which is called administering tablet capsule or pills and the powder medication hiyo ilikuwa ni kwa kuwapa kwa ujumla sasa anapoongelea tablet anaongelea vidonge capsules capsules kwa mfano ni dawa ambayo inakuwa imo kwa ndani imewekwa hapa kwenye kijiji mfuko fulani kwa mfano amoxacillin amoxacillin ukifungua hizo capsules zake ndio utakuta dawa ipo kwa ndani pills ni vidonge ambavyo inakuwa viko spherical in shape eh, powder medication na dawa zingine ziko kwenye eh, kama unga unga kwa mfano eh, kama zinakuwa kama vile glucose ziko kwa mtindogo uh, <coughs> sasa tunafanyaje place the package unit dose capsule or tablet direct into medicine cup unaweka moja kwa moja kwenye kidongo kwenye 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 kikombe cha kutolea uh, dawa Do not remove the medication from a uh, wrapper unit at bed side as the wrapper keeps the medication clean. Usiondoe kama utaja utakiwa kuitumia. Also facilitate identification of the medication in the event the client refuses the drug or assessment data indicates the drug should be held. Uh, an, an open the unit those package can be returned to medication cupboard for use when it 
necessary kama haujafungua uh, dawa yako kwa mfano ni capsules uh, au hujaitoa mule kwenye kwenye kitasha chake mgonjwa akashindwa akakataa akashindwa unaweza ukairudisha ukaitumia baadaye ila ile iliyokuwa open hiyo ni ya kutupa moja kwa moja if we using the stock container poor the required number into the bottle cup or lid and then it transfers the medication to disposal cup without touching the tablet keep uh, keep narcotic and medication that require specific assessment such as past measurement respiratory rate or depth or blood pressure separate from the other vitu ambavyo vinatakiwa uh, kupimia pressure uh, kupimia past rate na nini unavyoweka mbali na dawa this remains the health care provider complete need assessment in order to decide whether the, to give medication or withhold the medication indicated kwa mfano ukikuta mgonjwa umempima fasilit yake imekuwa kubwa au mgonjwa labda unataka umpe dawa pressure ishuje lakini unataka umpe tena dozi nyingine labda ni nisikesho yake kwa kuta pressure iko chini basi unaweza ukaahirisha kumpa dawa Break only score the tab- tablet if necessary to obtain the correct dosage use or cutting device if needed wakati mwingine tunabidi tukate hizo tablet ili tupate dozi inao stahili kwa mfano mgonjwa anatakiwa umepiga mahesabu paracetamol unatakiwa upate dozi 250 mg lakini kidonge kimoja kina mg 500 kwa hiyo inabidi ukikate katikati ili upate 250 250 ili mgonjwa umpe 250 give the tablet to patient with drink water make sure patient swallow the medication before leaving kama kawaida unampa dawa na maji ya kunywa na unahakikisha amemeza kabla haujaondoka administering mixture or suspension Another party uh, is called an mystery mixture or suspension. Ukitaka kumpa sasa mgonjwa uh, dawa ambayo ni akimiminika mixture au suspension. Sale mixes the medication before pouring shake the bottle gently move cup lid places the cup upside down on the floor. Uh, anasema mix the medication before pua kabla hujamimina uja, uja dawa yako unatakiwa uichangane unaisheki the bottle gently pole pole removing cup unaondoa eh, kifuniko au lid place the cup upside down on the floor uh, unapotoa ile cup una usiweke juu unatakiwa uifunike eh, ili avoid contamination this card any medication that has changed color or turned the cloud ukuta eh, dawa yoyote imebadilika rangi au imekuwa ina mawingu mawingu unaitupa hold the bottle so that label is at upper most and eh, pour the medication away from the label to prevent it from being sold and illegible hold the calibrated medication cup at eye level and pour the medication to desire eh, measurement tunanyanyua kwa juu kabisa tuone kama unaangalia ndiye hii imekuwa leopard expire au iko vipi au ndio dawa afu unachukua ile eh, eh, strike ka, ka kifuniko ka kuumiminia dawa yako una usawa unakaangalia sehemu ambayo imeoneshwa namba ndio inakuwa usawa macho yako usome vizuri This method ensure accurate for measurement wipe rim of bottle with paper tissue towels this prevent cup from uh, sticking replace cup or lid firmly when is giving small amount of liquid example less than 5 ml prepare medication in sterile syringe without the needle ah uh, katika kifuniko ka kuwekea dawa ya maji huwa kanaishia milizi tano. Sasa kama unataka umpe mgonjwa na milizi chini ya tano unachukua sindano ambayo ina milizi tano ambayo itakuwa imeonesha vina nini imistari mistari. Kwa utatoa ile nido, utavuta dawa kwa kutumia hiyo silinji mpaka ifike labda 2.5 alafu ndio unamimina kwenye sehemu ya kumjumishia mtoto. Keep unit dose liquid in the package and open them at the bedside. 
give a drug to the right patient to make sure that the patient drinks the medication before leaving the code according to hospital policy. Or ukimaliza unakisha mekunywa dawa na unarekodi kulingana na hospitali inavosema. Okay. <coughs> so here is our key point uh, after going through drug administration by all route. A uh, key point all route is the most common route. All medication are contain, uh, contraindicated to patients who are vomiting and have a uh, stomach uh, or intestinal irritation. This is the point. A uh, healthcare provider must always assess the current status before administering medication. Before administering prepare necessary equipment, the healthcare provider identifies the current appropriate before administering medication and stay with the current uh, until the medication is taken. Medication once given are documented as soon as possible after administration. Uh, evaluation what is the oral route of drug administration, what is the type of drug given orally, ni dawa gani ambayo tunaweza kumpa mtu orally tulisema kuna tablet kuna capsule uh, kuna pills na so what are the advantages and disadvantages of oral route those are evaluation thank you for listening go to yourself and read the following references um, and we welcome again to the second route of drug administration thanks